So you're going to want to make a new document with 400 by 150. You'll drag your render over. Maximize that. Now I press Control T to resize it. Control T and then Shift. Drag it around. Make it the size you want. Put it in the right place. Apply the transformation. Now what you want to do is you want to duplicate the render um, and make the bottom layer a stretch. You press Control T after you select that part. Drag it to the left and the right. Apply the transformation. We're gonna deselect that. Now back to your new layer and brush on this layer with either white or black. I chose black. Make it look pretty grungy. Overlay. And do some more brushing. I'm going to change colors and I made a new layer so I'm going to use the white on this new layer give it some brightness, set that to overlay it's starting to look good now I'm going to go and blur these two layers um, because give it a little sheen uh, you're going to want to try Gaussian blurs with stuff that's overlaid, it makes it look cooler let's see, uh, let's see, Gaussian blur Oh, that looks not good. So, if it doesn't look good with Gaussian Blur, you're just going to cancel out of that. And uh, try a different blur. Let's try Flynn's Blur. Uh, just go click OK. Uh, that looks pretty good. So, I guess we'll start working on the render. Duplicate that layer. We're going to set it to overlay, makes it brighter, and we're going to want a Gaussian blur to give it a sort of glow. Uh, try it, like slide it back and forth, see which looks better to you. And there we go. Then we're going to make another layer for underneath. We're going to apply a Gaussian blur to that, just give it a sort of extra something around the edges. Okay, we're going to make a new layer, a new adjustment layer, color balance. Give it a little bit of color, try to make it gold. Just mess around with the sliders a bit until you get the type of color you want. go. Now we're going to do a curves adjustment layer. Make it darker. A bit darker. Not too dark, but just a bit darker. And there we go. Now we're going to make the border. You control A to select all. Go to stroke, set it to 3, set it to black, press OK, see, 3 pixels, black, press OK. Go to stroke again, make it 2 pixels this time, and make it white. Now I'll go to stroke again, one last time, make it 1 pixel, black, and there you go. Now you're going to want to zoom in to the edge get your magic wand tool, deselect, and pick the white and black part. Now press control X, control paste, control V to paste, set it to overlay and you've got a nice little border right there. Zoom out and there we go. Now we're going to add text. Let's find a good font. We're going to go with Papyrus because it looks like an Egyptian chick from 
Unreal Tournament. And I think I'll make it all, all small letters. Get that out of the way. Want that black, so I'm going to go to my text options. Put that over there. And I'm going to change it to white. And I'll just put that somewhere right now. Now I'm going to add a glow. Preferably white because white goes with white. Makes it look nice. And I'm going to zoom in on it. Rasterize the type and then I'm going to blur it to make it even more glowy. Do that. Blurred all the letters. And get that in. Zoom out. Check it and see if it works. Looks good. So we're going to try and drag it around, see if it looks good any place. You don't want it to be somewhere where it contrasts with the object, the render. So we're just going to drag it around, see where it looks good. And I'm going to go ahead and put it back where I had it before. It looks pretty good there. And there you go. You're done.